hey everybody welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome and thank you so much for watching so today i filmed this makeup look that i'm wearing right now and it's a very monochromatic pink makeup look so everything from our eyes to our blush ties in together and that is why i call this a monochromatic pink look i really hope that you guys like this and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really means a lot really really so with all of that out of the way let's get into the tutorial for primer i'm gonna use the tasha silk canvas not only does it blur out my pores but i also feel like it moisturizes my skin super well and for foundation i'm gonna use the cult favorite Maybelline foundation, the Matte and Bourless foundation. Before we move on to our next step, which is concealer, I really wanted to tell you guys that you really want to blend your foundation in super well you don't want to just dab once or twice and be done with it you want to like be there blending the foundation out for a few minutes you want to make sure that it's really seamlessly blended into your skin and then move on to your next step i'm gonna use the la girl pro conceal in the shade pure beige if you have any excess pigmentation showing through whether it's from dark circles or spots or just uneven pigmentation of any kind even after applying your foundation that is when you go in with a concealer I feel like my face is a little too flat so I'm gonna highlight and I'm gonna highlight underneath my eyes a little bit in the center of my forehead a, just a tiny bit here and for highlighting i'm going to use the maybelline fit me concealer in sand sable I'm gonna use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlight in the shade Opal. And I used this specific highlighter because it has a very little pinkish sheen to it. It's mostly golden but it does have a little bit of a pinky reflex in it so i just felt like it would go perfectly with this monochromatic pink look but now that we're all the way done with all our cream products let's set a face okay and for setting my face i'm gonna use maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade light 15 this is how it looks For my blush, I'm going to use the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. You really want to make sure that you're keeping the blush on the very, um, just on the cheek area. Don't want to drag it anywhere below your cheek area because that's going to droop your face. Also going to use this same blush in our crease when we do our eyeshadow and then bring it out here and tie these two things together and that's gonna look amazing and yes that uh, this uh, makeup trick tip whatever you want to call it is inspired by Patrick Ta. Before we start our eye look I really want to do my brows and for that I'm gonna use the LA Girl brow kit in medium. I'm gonna use the darkest shade from this kit because I feel like it matches my eyebrows spot on. I 
this versus this the difference brows can make it's life-changing I'm gonna use the MAC prep plus prime fix plus to set my face lock in this makeup and also I feel like I look very powdery and cake face right now this helps in taking all of that away For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the same blush color that we used on a crease brush like this. This is from Real Techniques. I'm gonna take it lightly through a crease. And like I said, we're gonna connect it a little bit out here to the blush that we had brought up. I'm also going to put whatever little is left on the brush on my lower lash line. It's almost next to nothing. And honestly, I don't even know if it makes a difference. But in my irrational mind, it does. So I'm going to do it. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the James Charles and Morphe palette. This is how it looks. Again, with whatever is left on the brush, I'm gonna go underneath my eyelashes, uh, my lower lashes, like so. I really wanna uh, deepen up my outer edge of my eyes, and for that, I'm gonna use the shade Amber right here. This shade, this shade right here, from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I'm gonna put it on the very outer edge of my eyes because I just feel like the look is missing something. Okay, so now I'm really gonna blend out the edges over here so that it is very blown out. I've applied a little bit of Celestial from the same palette on my lids and it looks very golden here but on the eyes as you can see it turns out to be very pink for liner i'm gonna use a uh, royal it is one of the creamiest shades in this palette and it looks amazing if you have brown eyes dark brown eyes even green eyes it really brings out your eye color i'm also going to put it in my lower waterline i'm going to slightly smudge the wings because i am not really liking the very sharp look yeah i like this so much better so now let's move on to lips and for lips i'm gonna use the miss claire true color contour waterproof lip liner in number 15. it's a very mauvey pinky nude filled in my entire lips with this pencil and honestly you can even leave it here but i'm also going to add this kristen lip liner by kylie cosmetics i'm gonna get i'm going to use uh, the nika i think these are from the demi matte lipstick collection it's in the shade on fleek 02 So I don't know how but my camera cut off and uh, whilst it was cut off I didn't really realize it but all I did was apply my mascara 
and I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I used the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara so that's the makeup look done i really 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 hope that you guys liked it and enjoyed it and if you did then don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe i upload three videos a week so make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment down below it could be anything bye guys i'll see you in my next one